السلام عليكم ان شاء الله in this video we'll solve question number 5 in course work 4 uh, in this question we have uh, this assembly consists of 3 titanium 3 i6 aluminum 4 uh, v uh, so the material is the same for the 3 uh, rods so what i will benefit from this uh, information is that i will use the same e which is uh, 115 gigapascal you can find it at the beginning of the book uh, also you have a rigid bar AC this bar you don't care uh, about it so the cross-sectional area of each rod is given in the figure okay uh, actually this bar uh, uh, we <laughs> will do a lot of things about it and at the end the cross-sectional area of each rod is given so I have the area for each rod okay uh, if a force of 30 kN so use the value of 30 kN uh, as indicated in the figure uh, applied to the ring uh, this ring okay determine the horizontal displacement so a horizontal displacement of point F so this point F when you apply a force 30 kN uh, this uh, will tension the line EF okay and he asked for the displacement or delta يعني, or the, uh, delta F or delta LF in the horizontal the direction okay which will be affected of course uh, of the displacement of the rod EF and we represent this displacement when we are talking about uh, a rod so we represent it by the two ends of the rod or the points at the two ends of the rod which is F and E so we usually say uh, first we usually uh, use the letter delta or small delta F okay and we usually say it is delta F with respect to E okay and already this uh, point E is also is moving because this force will not only affect this region this right region also it will affect rod DC it will affect rod BC of course they will move to the right and by this also point E will move because it is a rigid uh, bar and the all of them are connected together so also we'll have a displacement in E itself okay so this one delta F E it is for the rod EF right so we can use the equation that says that uh, F L over E E is equal to the displacement. Okay, so if in the uh, rod E F and the length, I will use the length of E F itself, the area for E F, and we said the modulus of elasticity is the same for all of them. So I have the length which is 0 0.3 meter. Okay, that is the lens mentioned in, in small font, 0.3 meter. I have the area, it is 1,200 millimeter squared. I have E from the uh, from the book, it is 115 gigapascal for this titanium alloy. And uh, the remaining is to calculate the force. I don't have the force. This force is uh, applied on the ring. So I need to make a section on this uh, rod EF. So if I made a section, uh, for example, this is point F and I made a section here. So I want to calculate this force. We let's call it FEF. Okay, and I have 30 kN. So it is so clear that the force FEF is also equal to 30 uh, kN. So I have everything to calculate delta F with respect to E. So delta F with respect to E will equal to 30 kN times LEF is 0.3 meter. The area in uh, millimeter squared, uh, 1200 millimeter squared, and E is 115 gigapascal. Uh, when you have 115 gigapascal and you have millimeter uh, squared, this will give you uh, a value of kilo. And also already you have uh, a kN here. So kilo will go to kilo and you will have the value in meter. Okay, so don't convert because uh, everything will cancel specifically if, if you have gigapascal for E, uh, kN for the force, meter for the length, and millimeter squared, yani as it, give, uh, it is given uh, in, in the question. Okay, uh, 
The answer will be 6.522 times 10 to the power negative uh, 5 meters. Okay, now we calculated delta F with respect to E. We want to calculate, or uh, what is asked from us in the question is to calculate delta F. So the, the remaining to calculate delta E. Delta E, we don't have a uh, rod before uh, delta E, so I can say the same thing like uh, what I did in delta, uh, in delta F. Uh, however, I know that it is a rigid, rigid bar, the most important information, the question, uh, because they are connected together, and whenever one of them or any point C, E, A, or any point on the uh, uh, rod uh, on the bar, the rigid bar moves, the other points also must move, okay? Even if uh, they are moving with, diff with different uh, displacement. So I don't have any information to calculate delta E, but let's say I... I, I will calculate delta C and delta E and see what will happen. Maybe uh, I will figure something, okay? So if for delta C, delta C, uh, of course, if it will move because of the 30 kN, uh, that means that the rod delta, uh, the rod DC also will stretch and will be under tension, okay? So it will be equal to the delta C with respect to D plus delta of D, okay? And already delta D will not move because it is bend, okay? You have a bend here, so this point, this point D, it will not move, so the, there, is, will be, there will be no displacement here, it will be equal to zero. And now I will have that delta C, the displacement point C, is itself the displacement of C with respect to D, and usually when we have a displacement, uh, a point with respect to another point in a rod, we will use the equation FL uh, over AE. So this one also will equal to FDC, uh, LDC over ADC, uh, E, okay? I have E given, uh, area. the area also given is indicating the figure. Uh, the remaining is to calculate FDC, I don't have it. LDC it is given, is, it is 1.2 meter. So how I can calculate uh, uh, this one, if I made... Uh, 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 if I made uh, a section, uh, I cannot calculate the, this one because you know, if I, uh, I made section here, what I will take? I will take the left side or the right side of the bar or, uh, or what? If I made, for example, uh, a section and take the left side, what I will have? I will have nothing. I don't have the reaction force at D or what? Okay. And also, if I take the right side, Okay, I have the 30 kN, but I cannot ignore that I have another force here, which is uh, the force in, uh, uh, in the rod BA. Okay, so I cannot do the idea of the section uh, to calculate the forces like what I did in uh, rod EF. So what I need to do is to use statics, because now I, I, I can draw the free body diagram. This one, this rod DC and rod BA are two force members. Uh, so they don't have uh, any load or weight mentioned on them. That means that I can represent them instead of saying, oh, I have been here at D, I will put uh, DY or D and DX, and I have been at C, there's uh, D, o, uh, C, Y, and CX, and so on. No, I will represent it because it is two force member uh, by only one force, and I will assume it is tension because uh, theoretic kilo newton is uh, tensioning or uh, acting in this direction. So of course there will be a reaction in the opposite direction. So I predict that it will be tension FCD uh, here, and also I will have uh, another force, which is FPA in the another uh, the other road uh, road AB, uh, and I have here point E. Here, uh, this one is point C, and also I have here point A. I have the force 30 kN acting here. Uh, this distance is what is 0.3 meter, and this distance uh, is 0.6 meter. Now, uh, if I did sigma if x equal to zero, I will not find uh, a solution because uh, I have two unknowns and only one equation. So usually when you have two unknowns or uh, uh, many unknowns, you need to use the moment equation in order to cancel one of the unknowns. So I will use the moment equation, either use it at C or A, I will use it at A. Uh, then I will assume that the counterclockwise uh, direction is positive. 
Okay, sigma with a at a equal to zero, I will have that FCD will act uh, on point A in the clockwise direction, so it is positive. So I have FCD times the total distance 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.9 uh, minus because this one uh, this one will rotate like this about point A, so it is in clockwise direction. So it will be the 30 kN is, uh, is acting uh, or doing a moment in the clockwise direction, so it is 30 times uh, 0 0.3 uh, equal to 0. This will give you that FCD is equal to 10, and is, if it is positive, that means that my assumption for the direction is right, so it is in tension. So when I substitute it in the equation FL over AA, so I will put it tension. Okay, so it is positive. Okay, uh, now I have the value for FCD. I can use now the sigma FX equal to zero. I will assume the positive uh, direction is this one. Uh, then I will have 30 minus 10, which is FCD that I calculated, minus FPA equal to zero. Then the value for FPA will equal to 20 kilonewton. And since it is positive, that means uh, that my assumption is correct, so it is tension also. Then when I substitute in the equation, it will be tension because also this one, uh, I will use it in the equation uh, FD, uh, FL over AA, since also, uh, if I want to calculate delta A, delta A is the same like uh, what we did in delta C. It is also delta A with respect to B plus delta B, but delta B already it is been, so it is uh, will not move, point B will not move. So delta A is exactly the same like delta A with respect to B, so I can use the equation uh, if DC, uh, sorry, if AB, LAB over AAB, A in order to calculate uh, delta F, uh, delta A. So now I have the forces AB and uh, DC. Already it is given the lengths, uh, the lengths uh, are, uh, the lengths are given and the areas uh, are given. The modulus uh, of CC are the same. It's the same. So uh, I will just substitute in the equation. I have uh, if AB is equal to 20 times the distance is 1.8. If you see the figure, it is 1.8. The area is 900 millimeters squared. The other one is 1.2600 millimeters squared. So 1.8, uh, the area is what? The area is 900 times 115. I will have the value 3.478 times 10 to power negative 4 uh, meter. For this, uh, for delta C, I will do the same. If DC is what? If DC is 10 times 1.2, the area is 600 times 115. It will give you 1.7391 times 10 to power negative 4 uh, meter. Now I have delta C, delta A, then what I will do, okay? So let's draw what happened uh, for the rigid bar AC, AEC. What happened that at the beginning, I have C, I have E, I have A. Uh, and each one of them must move because there is a displacement caused by the force 30 kN. And if you can notice, that delta A is twice the value of delta C. And delta A is 3.478, this one is 1.7391, and both of them are multiplied by 10 to the power negative 4. That means that delta A is twice delta C, right? So since delta A is twice delta C, okay, I will just uh, write this here, not, not a special thing. Okay, so it will be, uh, that is what, uh, will happen yani delta c uh, point c will move with a distance delta delta c i will have c prime after the displacement and i will have double this distance delta c i will have another this uh, distance delta c and another one delta c both of them will give you a total distance of uh, delta a so this total distance is delta a so i have here a prime I will connect these two together. 
And also E must move and E will be something here because that is a rigid bar They must be connected on the same line since I have two points I can uh, connect them point A and point C A prime and C prime then I will have E prime here So what I need uh, is yani, here okay What I need to find is this distance what, which E uh, point E uh, moved okay so this distance is what this distance now I have I can draw a triangle here okay and already I know this small distance is delta C already it is the same like uh, this one okay but the meaning that I don't know this uh, distance which is X what I can do in order to calculate uh, this uh, distance with uh, or yani the displacement in E displacement is E in E is what displacement E is delta C this distance okay plus X okay that's what I need to find and then when I find delta E yani why I'm already finding delta E and all of this because I I say that delta F is delta F E which I calculated already 6.522 times 10 to 185 plus delta E I don't know delta E so I need to find it which is delta C plus X I know delta uh, C but I don't know the value of X so in order to calculate X I can do the uh, symmetry of the triangles I have a small triangle okay this one is X and this one, this distance uh, is 0 0.6. Yani if you, if I draw this one until point E is 0 0.6 meter, and this one, this distance is what 0 0.3 meter. Okay, so this one is 0 0.6. Uh, that is the small triangle. I have another uh, big triangle, which is this distance uh, already delta C. Okay, and the total uh, distance of the rigid bar, is, which is 0 0.9, 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3. So I have uh, two sides of that uh, each triangle. So I can say uh, the corresponding signs above each other. So I will have x over uh, delta C is equal to 0 0.6 over 0 0.9. So this will give you, I know everything, I know delta C, I can calculate x, so it will be uh, it will be x over 1.739 times 10 to power negative 4 equal to 0 0.6 over 0 0.9 then the value of x is equal to 1.16 times 10 to power negative 4 meter now uh, I have x I already have delta c I can calculate delta e delta e will equal to delta c itself is 1.739 times 10 to power negative 4 uh, plus x Okay, plus x which is 1.16 times 10 to 1 to 4 meter. Okay, now delta E will equal to 2.8984 times 10 to 1 to 4 meter. Now I can calculate delta F which is required for me in the question which is delta F E which I already calculated at the beginning of the question from the equation F L over A E. Uh, okay, delta F uh, with respect to E is 6.522 times 10 to 1 to 5. Uh, plus delta E which is 2.8984 times 10 to 1 negative 4 then I will have uh, the value 3.551 times 10 to 1 negative 4 uh, meter that is the answer for this question inshallah